Welcome back everyone. This is possibly a part four of Little Nightmares. Possibly last episode, depends on how far we get. But yeah, so last time we left off, um, I was in the guest area. Um, I had a gnome, I lit a lamp, and yeah, now I have to deal with um, these people. Like, I say that loosely because, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're human, but their parents kind of says otherwise. More like roly polies. Like, let's just look at their faces. They're so <clears throat> questionable. I don't know how to else to put it other than questionable. Little gnome dude is gone, sadly. Okay. Whew, gotta get into the mental headspace, try to get past all these um, people. Yeah, so I can call them that people's. Jump on that box, and then there's like a um, not a wire thing, like a wooden plate. Is that what it's called? I think it's a plate. But that is my key to climb off. So run, run, run! Don't get grabbed! Don't get grabbed! Don't oh, well. Well, off to a great start as always. I feel like they have too much. Uh, they have more reach than what they probably should, considering they have like T-Rex arms. Little stubby nubs. I'm like, but I know what I have to do. I need to get past them. The question is, can I get past them? <laughs> and I'm so good at this game. Look how good I am at this game. I get past them, they like immediately give up, which is great. I I prefer not to have another instance of these guys following me for whatever reason. Honestly, I should have probably just tried jumping a bit higher, but it is what it is. I've made it this far by some ungodly miracle. So, I'm assuming that small gap is for me to get over him. Oh my god, I just realized how many other people there are behind that one guy. Thank you. 
really, really. You'd think after having to deal with this guy, guys, the first time I'd be done with them, but no, of course not. Never that'd be that. Never, never would it be that easy. Gosh, words escape me. I can't go through the door. Did I make too much noise? He won't come back, right? I hope he doesn't. Yeah, so it was right. It had to do with the mirror, just not the way I thought. Okay, so I guess after he leaves the room, he won't come back, so that's good. Don't have to deal with him. So why wouldn't I just fall down and die? Okay, run, hide, break the thing, and then... Well, I mean, yeah, break the thing. guy because I mean this place already seems kind of intense with the guests kind of following you everywhere I don't think having the cooks after me is like um fair I guess is the best word This is gonna like just run, don't hear us, just run, 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 right, 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 please. Okay, the land run. And oh, I see we're gonna go down the bullet path. know that there's a bloody wall at the end of that hole. Okay. I'm just keep running, just keep 
didn't just book it. I know to turn at the end of that hall. Even though I'm pressing the button, of course I wouldn't actually, I wouldn't get it. Keep going, you already crushed me. It's fine. It's fine. You already crushed me. Who cares? I think by that stage, who cares? Nobody noticed a falling um, person, but it's fine. Great. Oh, really? Really? We're hungry again? Didn't we like eat a live rat or something? Six, you gotta like control your hunger, girl. It's too much. You ate a live rat for Christ's sake. Next. Oh no. Oh, you wouldn't fucking dare. No! Don't you fucking just take the sausage! Don't you. No! Right, can you. So oh. Bloody fucking sausage! Why eat the gnome? Oh, why did you eat the gnome? He was innocent. They were our friends. I mean, they tried to be our friends, or I tried to be their friends, but you wouldn't. You scared them. That way, they ran away from me because they they knew the the horror, the monster that laid within me. Hear me, right? Perks. Oh, a poor gnome. Oh, button. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward through my. Who knows how long it's gonna take to press this button? I'm just gonna fast forward through that.
Oh, finally, it just took so... I don't know what I'm doing wrong about pressing the stupid button. Like, mind you, the marker shows up, it's like, press A to throw object. I don't know. Eventually I'll figure it out. Probably gonna be like, almost done with the DLC and then I'll figure it out. But I will. Oh. This part of the place is actually really pretty. That's supposed to go so on its own. Oh, great! It's an eye painting. That's not weird at all. Trying to see if there's any secrets up on the books or if I can climb the shelves. Nope, I cannot climb the shelves. It's a lot of covered up paintings though. That's not suspicious sounds. Like, I want to go into the room, but I feel like there's danger behind that door. Okay, there's giant wardrobe behind this door. Look at that. I was right. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> she won't see me, right? As long as I just like quietly walk around behind her. Why is that mirror broken? Did she just Break it and then hide because no one's in here. Totally innocent. It was the gnomes. Is she still there? Oh, she's not there. That's bad, isn't it? room feel like it just suddenly got super dark. I'm gonna come in here to break all her stuff. Oh, 
I don't like that there's so many mannequins. I just feel like it's she's gonna just apparate from one of the mannequins and just be like, surprise. so close. Also, her just appearing out of the mannequins, I feel like it's shooting. And clearly, she got some magical juju I don't want to be messing with. Just gonna keep running. Don't know where I'm running to, but I feel like running in just straight ahead is best option right now. Is she still following me? I guess not. Oh, it's cold in here. Oof. No, thank you. Okay. There's a lot of mannequins just standing around. And there's a lot more broken mirrors, and there is just one single intact mirror, so I'm gonna assume I need to grab that. Oh god, I thought I saw something- I thought I saw a bug in my room. Well, mainly I thought it was a cricket. I have a gecko, and a gecko likes crickets. Sometimes they escape the enclosure. Yeah, luckily I was wrong. Okay. I'm just gonna- just gotta show her her face and oh no it's dark follow the light follow the light that's safety i'm assuming and spin yeah so show her her face because apparently i'm assuming it's like hella ugly otherwise why would she freak out and just like oh no my face don't show me my reflection there's a reason my mirrors are broken I just have to do this until she's just like burst into ash. I mean, at least this one seems pretty simple and repetitive compared to like Mr. Longarms and oh, I don't like that she can just do that. Okay. Oh, I'm sure maybe I'm sure maybe it's the sisters from from I think it was Kobu. The stop motion animation, the with the, well, I guess it would be his aunts, but like still, the way she's just like gliding so easily through the darkness is like very unsettling, but also really cool powers. It's like I am one with the darkness. How many more times do I have to do this before? Was it just like the fourth? Time? Okay, that's like, okay, seriously, how many more times do I have to do this? Oh, that broke, so I'm assuming that's the end of that. Oh, no. No! You just... Really? Am I really gonna have to fight the lady, eat the lady? You just need a gnome. Why do you have such supernatural hunger? Oh, we're gonna eat the lady, aren't we? Gained the darkness.
Well, that's a. Uh... That's the end. Wait, no, okay, that's not the end. life out of everything? Yeah. We are. I think we just... Did we... Like, we broke his neck? Yeah, we just... Okay. There they are. Are they gonna follow me? Are there gonna be gnomes in this again? Hmm. I kinda hope there are. They're really cute. Also, if you really did have to really eat one, or you really did not have to eat one. Okay, well, we are to the credits of this game, so I will be posting something other than just Little Nightmares. After this video is up, I'm going to go uh, go back to posting Resident Evil 7. I'm getting back into... Oh, I apologize, I was yawning. I'm getting back to Fallout, New Vegas, and 4. Um, also, I have to... I'm probably going to switch Bioshock Infinite into a live stream. Like, during Thanksgiving holiday, I'm probably going to live stream that rather than record it. I don't know. haven't decided yet. But, yeah. Um, yes, I really enjoyed this game. It was a lot of fun. As tense as it was and as stupid as it made me feel a lot of the time, it was a lot of fun. And I'm very excited for the second game. When it comes out, definitely buying it. Definitely playing it. I'm not gonna wait. I'm just gonna straight buy and play. Because this game was amazing. I loved it. Visually, very pleasing. Aside from the, you know... I mean, it, they were designed to look gross. So, you know, still works. But, yeah, I'm so curious about the lore of this game. Like, I've, I looked up some videos, and they are talking about how um, Six gains her ability, uh, like, her at the end of the game, she gets the ability through eating the lady. And throughout, as she's getting more and more hungry, there's apparently a shadow six that appears in brief flashes between the gaps of where she's eating and like everything starts to get slightly dark 
there's just like in the corners of the screen you can see a flash of a shadow six which I think is pretty interesting but I was reading um what was it no I was watching a video talking about theory to World Nightmare 2 and how six doesn't seem to have her powers on the mainland which they uh, theorize it might be due to the signal tower not quite sure what that is but yeah so I was very curious and kind of annoyed, but I'm like, I survived all of this. I think Six should have her powers, but I also don't kind of understand because she literally just killed everything that she walked across. Probably not the best thing for gameplay. Now that she's like in and out, like maybe she's with you for a little bit and then she's all of a sudden not because reasons. Either way, really love the game. A lot of fun. Highly recommend it, and um, yeah, def definitely highly recommend it. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, and I know somebody, um, very very nice YouTuber, who has I've been watching. Oh, I've been binging her Resident Evil Seven series up to where I left off myself playing mainly because I'm like I don't want to get full spoilers for game stuff she said she recently purchased this game if she makes a series out of it super excited to watch that it's gonna be fun <laughs> either way thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye